Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our previous video, actually we have discussed about like uh, data structure and we have got the clear cut idea about data structure, like why it is uh, required. So let me give you the brief uh, like idea of data structure. Data structure is nothing but it's a uh, organizing way of data. So let's say if you're implementing any kinds of software and there actually you need to organize your data in a such a way so that whenever user are raising some of the query to your software, they can get the quick response. Otherwise they won't be using your application, right? So I have already given you one uh, like idea, one example of the Google search engine. So whenever we are searching anything in the Google search, search engine, so that actually we are getting quick response, right? Now in this video, actually I will be uh, giving you the idea of the algorithm, like what is uh, exactly the algorithm, okay? So here if you see algorithm is nothing but it's just a, a set of steps to accomplish of a task. So let's say uh, I have given you one example in our uh, data structure video. So there actually I saw you, we have, let's say list of the woods. We have different different colors of woods now if i tell you just figure out like uh, black woods from me uh, like from this particular list so what you need to do you need to look for one by one and whenever you get that you will return me that particular things but and it would be very much difficult for you because this woods actually is not in a structure format but if i'm giving you this particular set of uh, like you can say uh, woods so it would be very much easy for you to figure out right now let's say we have taken like uh, these are the woods okay first of all we have let's say this kinds of unstructured woods now what we have done actually we have structured them okay we have structured them we have just make them one list as you can see now uh what is algorithm so to give you that algorithm idea i will uh give you another let's say demo so let's say uh you want to uh you want to build a floor actually okay you want to build a, a floor for, for your home so what you need to do first of all you need to choose a color of the floor okay so let's say first of all you need you will choose you will you will choose the uh, like color of the wood so let's say let's say i have taken this particular color for the floor now what you need to do you need to purchase them okay you need to purchase them and you need to bring them then after that you need to prepare the sub flooring okay as you can see uh, you need to prepare for the sub flooring then after that you need to determine the layout you will just uh, make the layout of the floor then after that you will trim the door and you will just uh, complete your flooring okay so what actually we are doing actually so here our golden elements is our data so here actually if you see our golden elements is nothing but the woods that means our data first of all we need to make them in a structured after that we need to choose them okay we need to choose them after that we need to buy them then we need to bring them then after that we need to prepare for the sub flooring then we need to determine the layout then we'll be trimming the door then we'll be completing our flooring task right so here actually we are following one set of tasks as you can see we are following one set of tasks then we are following that particular uh, let's say steps to complete that particular task okay so that is called an algorithm i hope you got the idea now let me give you another example uh, so we usually follow like uh, like lots of algorithm in our daily life let's say you want to go to the office so what you need to do so first of all you will go to the bus stop you will take a bus then go to the office then you will repeat that thing in your daily basis right so here actually we are following one set of steps and this is called an algorithm right now let's say you want to buy a uh, coffee from the starbucks so what you need to do first of all you need to go to the starbucks then you need to pay the money then you need to take the coffee so again in the next day you need to do the same thing so here we're following one algorithm right in our day-to-day -day lives also so everywhere is algorithm everywhere is data structure okay now you got the idea now what is algorithm in computer science so as you can see it's a set of rules for a computer program to accomplish a task first of all let's say if you are giving any input data uh, there would be some calculation okay then it will stop when answer is found right so I think I already shown you that particular example. I think now you are able to understand what is exactly an algorithm, right? Now guys, let me give you some uh, real world demo. Like uh, some of the big companies are using these kinds of algorithm, okay? And which algorithm they are using to solve different, different tasks. As you can see, I think you have already seen like Facebook Live, okay? For the Facebook Live actually, uh, what they do actually, they broadcast the videos as well as the audios. So how it is happening actually in the real time, so they're using something called compression algorithm with the help of this compression algorithm they're doing this kinds of live operation right now let's say i'm talking about google maps i think you are already using google maps on your smartphone or let's say on your computer so here guys i think you have probably seen like uh, it will suggest you the shortest path okay with respect to different different path so basically it will calculate uh, like um, all the path distance okay with respect to the traffic and all and it will suggest you the shortest path so that we can reach to our destination in a short period of time okay so here actually they are using one particular algorithm called graph algorithm okay now if you want to like know like what is the algorithm they are using so here is the algorithm guys the algorithm name is like so the name of the algorithm is disk tracks algorithm okay so this algorithm will help you to find the shortest path from the google map itself now uh, this algorithm is used uh in every google map let's say if you are using google uh like google uh map if you're using let's say apple map or let's say if you're using microsoft map all are using the same algorithm there right now guys if i'm talking about like big companies like nasa they are also using this particular algorithm 
I think you already know in the space center actually uh, they are using solar panels. Okay. Now guys, one question would be in your mind like how uh, they they will arrange this particular solar panel. Okay, on the International Space Station. So they are actually they are using something called optimization and scheduling algorithm with the help of that. So with the help of that, actually they are arranging these kinds of solar panel. Okay, on the International Space Station. Now guys, whenever I'm talking about algorithm, so algorithm is two type. One is like bad algorithm, another is good algorithm. So actually what makes uh, a good algorithm? Okay, so in a good algorithm, there should be two component. One is like correct correctness and another is like efficiency. Okay, as you already seen in our previous example. So they're actually uh, big companies are using like different different uh, algorithm and it is like very correct and it is like very efficiency, right? So that is called actually good algorithm. But but whenever I'm talking about bad algorithm, so those kinds of uh, bad algorithm won't be having this kinds of two component called correctness and efficiency. Sometimes actually we'll see like uh, there is no correctness. Okay, it is giving some random uh, you can say results and all. Sometimes it is not giving efficiency. Okay, it is taking lots of time. So that is called a bad algorithm. Okay, so always remember in a good algorithm you should have two component. One is like correctness and another is like efficiency. Right. So yes, guys, this is the complete idea of this algorithm. Now I think you got the entire understanding on the algorithm, like why uh, algorithm is required. Okay, and how this algorithm are used. Okay, in different different uh, software and all. Now in the next video, actually, I'll be uh, give you the idea like why this data structure algorithm is so important and why big companies are asked uh, like uh, DSA related question. Okay. Whenever you are attending any kinds of interview, whenever you are looking for any kinds of jobs in the product based company. So why they ask actually this kinds of DSA question and why it is very much important. Okay. So yes, guys, this is all about from this video. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.